Hello and welcome to another tutorial series with Coding with Kate. In this series of tutorials, we are going to build a React Native application consisting of cool designs and features using the best React Native UI components and libraries. Without any further ado, let's develop the UI for Splash Screen. We'll create a splash screen with a white background and logo in the middle. First, open your terminal, type in the command cd downloads to create the project on downloads. Now run command react native init project name and to specify the version type in the command like this and if you don't want to specify the version just type in the project name and the latest version will be downloaded so yeah after some time your project will be created now go to the project directory cd ios and pod install to install all the pods in your application pod installation complete now cd dot dot and run command react native run ios to launch your application in the ios simulator after some time the app will be built yeah our app is successfully built now open the open your project in your development environment i prefer to use visual studio code now as you can see this demo code we need to delete all the demo code which we don't need in our application so yeah we will delete this JSX statements as well because we don't need it in our application now we have to make this an arrow function now delete all these imports Let's start by putting some demo text between the save area tags and save. We need to import the text component. Now you can see the text component, the demo text in our screen. Let's put it in the same screen so you can see better. Yeah, it's better now. Now delete this demo text. Now import the view component from React Native to show your logo. First, we'll install all the dependencies which we are going to use in our application which includes react Nav navigation and some other dependencies you can get all the dependencies in the documentation below so yeah the process of installing dependencies is completed let's start with the splash screen For showing this splash screen, we need to install the library React Native Boost Splash. You can see this library in the NPM website. Let's copy this command. You can see the demo of splash screen in Android and iOS using this library. And here are all the steps to follow. To install this library so let's get started and yeah let's copy this command and paste it in your vs code terminal and wait for installation to be completed 
the library is now installed. Now, let's see the steps which we need to follow to install this library. We need to first install the pods. So for that, we need to go into the iOS directory and run the command pod install. Pod installation complete. Now let's see other steps which we need to follow to integrate this library. So yeah, as you can see, these are all the setup commands which we are going to use. First, we need to create a folder named source and inside the source folder we need to create another folder named assets and now we need to drag and drop our logo file in this folder just like this so yeah you can see our folder assets with the logo in there too and now we need to copy this command and run it in our terminal so we need to give our logo paths here our logo is located in the source folder yeah source and then assets and logo.png so yeah now let's press enter and you can see it's done some necessary files have been created you can also give background color weight and hide to your splash screen as per the requirements using all these options commands so these are all the commands that that you can use in your splash screen too so this is the same response that we got when we ran the command these are all the files that have been created in our project so now let's get started with the iOS installation first we need to copy this line and paste it in our app delegate.m file in the iOS directory in our workspace app delegate.m and now paste it in here so we need to copy another command which is this and paste it in the same file we need to follow this step these steps very carefully as one mistake could lead into a deadly error mm, let's confirm it uh, so yeah here we have to paste this line now let's follow these images open these images and let's see what steps are in these images So yeah, we need to paste our boots, boot splash dot storyboard file in the export project directory because it's uh, it's not in the Xcode. And we cannot see it in here in our workspace. So we need to drag and drop it in our Xcode project directory. Here you can see in the workspace there is no boot splash dot storyboard file. We need to go into our project in the finder 
and in the iOS directory you can see in the workspace in the project workspace the saloon finder folder you can see this boot splash dot storyboard file we need to drag yeah so you can see there's no uh, boot splash dot storyboard file in our export so we need to drag and drop this bootstrap boot splash dot storyboard file in our export project directory let's do it and just press finish and your and the file is copied correctly yeah you can see it's showing here now let's see the other image what it, what it has to show us uh, all right we need to select the launch screen file as our boot splash file so yeah in the general tab and app icons and launch images set your launch file as boot splash file so yeah this was all for the ios part now let's follow android we need to copy this and paste it at the top of our main activity.java file so yeah main activity.java file we need to paste it in here and we need to copy this line too in our main activity.java file so yeah uh, inside the override function we need to paste it inside this function let's paste it and also don't forget to copy the import file for rn boot splash yeah we need to copy this necessary import as well at the top of our file Uh, let's see the second step we need to add some lines to our styles.xml file so yeah these are the lines which we have to add this will set our bootstrap icon as the resource for our app Styles.xml and uh, inside the resource tag, we need to paste the, these lines just like this. And now the third step is in our Android manifest.xml file, we need to add add and remove some lines from our XML file too. As you can see here, we need to copy these lines and paste it in our Android manifest.xml file and inside the application tag. Inside the application tag, there's a main activity tag in which we have to paste these lines. All right, now we need to uh, remove the intent filter from our main activity tag. Remove this intent filter.
and copy these this this whole activity tag and paste it just beneath the main activity tag all right now let's see the other stuff so our installation steps are complete as you can see for android and ios let's just save all the files let's see how we can use it now so yeah we need to copy this and paste it in our code in our app.js file we need to import rn boot splash from react native boot splash library Uh, yeah, so we can see there is a real-world example. So we are gonna use this example uh, Let's copy all this use effect We are gonna paste it in our app.js and Let's import it from react use effect is a hook which we can use for our component lifecycle method now let's see our splash screen so when we uh, reopen our app you can see it's reloading and you can see our launch screen our splash screen and then it changes to our app.js component so yeah it's working on android let's check on ios simulator so we can see our app.js file now let's reload the app so yeah you can see the splash screen changes into the app.js file so this was our tutorial for splash screen you can contact us on whatsapp for app development queries if you liked our video kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more updates on tutorials Thank you.